Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a hot minute and I will explain what has been going on and why I disappeared ever so slightly for a small moment there. Oh, it has been a week. Um, yeah, anyway, so where do we start? I, um, well... At the beginning of last week, I had to go for a chest x-ray. Um, not to worry, guys, not to worry. But um, the heat in there and the lights and probably just the stress of the appointment I just had such a bad migraine. So I've been unwell with that to start off with. So, uh, you know, as per usual, behind in everything, behind in filming, because Monday is my day off from work and usually when I manage to get most of my things, you know, uh, channel related um, and such kind of, you know, um, n not finished, but, you know, I get quite a bit of stuff prepared, sorted at least, <laughs> you know, it's um, one of the bulk days for um, me doing stuff for the channel so um, that put me even further behind than I usually am and seeing as I am perpetually behind in everything it was it was not good not good um, and unfortunately I'm at the hospital again this Monday um, so I'm filming this late Sunday night just because to be honest otherwise <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how much content's going to happen because I need to get caught up. Um, for the reason that I have yet to explain, bear with me. Um, just filling you in on where I'm at, where I've been, what's going on. Um, again, nothing awful on Monday. Um, just an appointment that I have to go to uh, for uh, medical reasons. Um, as an overshare, it's it's uh, like a breast. I get breast lumps. I get them all the time. I've had them. Um, for you know all my life I always get them I get quite big uh, cysts and such and obviously you have to go because you should never leave anything like that even if you think it's just your routine stuff you know breast lumps things like that you should see your doctor have them checked get referred have them you know and then most of the time they drain them which it's not the most fun thing you're ever going to have on a Monday morning, but it's important because also if you leave them, they're large, you can't tell what's under them and obviously these things would pose a risk. So as much as we don't like doing, you know, the awful yucky stuff that we know is going to be rather unpleasant and, you know, uncomfortable, it's very important that you go. Even assuming that it's not something awful, you should have things checked. So... <laughs> Um, now I've told you all off for ignoring anything you shouldn't ignore. Um, I'm, obviously my appointment is on Monday. So hopefully um, I'll not have a repeat and end up unwell. So I was kind of sat there, um, sat in my living room playing Splatoon thinking, hmm, I don't really want to film. I've not been in that frame of mind at the moment but I don't want to have no content again so up you get off you go find something and I figured a colour and chat and to let you guys know um you know because you're important to me and I don't want to disappear on you what is going on and where I've been so what a long intro to that so the main part of this story is I dropped my phone <laughs> <laughs> dropped my phone last week yes I've made a right mess of it um I am using at this exact moment said phone um so if you never see this footage said phone was even more gone than I thought so I've really made a mess of it it's not letting me really press any apps because I've kind of smashed the screen and it's got black blobs all over it and it is on its way out anyway it kind of prompted me to do the thing that I've been meaning to do for a while. My phone's well past its contract and it's pretty old. I'm just not really one of these for renewing things that I like. I just, you know, till, use it till it dies and I drop it and then I'm going to replace my phone. Um, so I've already, um, you know, um, my new one's here. I got myself a Google Pixel 8 Pro. Yeah, I think that's right. Very fancy for me. I'm normally... Um, 
you know, kind of a bog standard cheapest rate that you can get. But obviously, as you guys are well aware, I film with my phone. So I did lots of research and I looked into lots of things and tried to find one that would be, um, you know, uh, good for the filmmaking that I want to do without breaking my entire bank because uh, phones are not cheap, none of them. Um, so that has arrived and I'm just waiting for it to port over and in the meantime I've managed to get mine to stop kind of flipping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between um, apps. I just, I think it's found a slightly calm mode as long as I don't touch, press or breathe on anything. So I'm just really hoping this will work. So um, you may have to bear with me on a couple of videos if they start to look you know, a bit weird like on the technical details because obviously I will be getting used to um, and practicing filming with my new device. But on the plus side, I think, you know, problem has been sorted. We should be all right. Uh, I did get a, a free Pixel watch with my new phone, all very fancy, um, that just will not sync to it at all. I spent hours and hours and hours, two days in fact, funny and about with that not happy not good at technology and i'm just come to the realization that i don't know i'm going to probably have to watch people on youtube and see if they've had the same issue i'm having and what the hell is it or is it just that um the watch they sent me is no good and i'm going to have to contact them so yeah behind on everything but nothing new there and of course the other thing that also has messed with my time keeping and schedule and colouring and hobbies and life is um, my friend, well I have about three friends actually, I have Colourfully Optimistic here on YouTube and then I have a couple of other friends um, not on YouTube that make wax melts um, like you know, as you guys know, Corey is now doing that um, full time. She's uh, really churning out those beautiful smelly concoctions on her shop. So do check it out. Um, she has sent me some and I have unboxed them on my diamond painting channel. If you want to check that out. Uh, they're very beautiful. Spoiler alert. Um... Do I want this guy to be that colour? I will do some. Shall I start doing boring inky details and do some actual um, pencil? Let's see. Um, where was I? I'm lost. Yeah, so um, that kind of happened. And I, I did kind of dabble with them uh, moons and moons ago. And then um, I was speaking to my friend uh, about them. And, you know... Um, kind of you know what they're like in the UK how it does how it goes you know um, and I thought well I do really fancy doing a craft fair because I have jewellery for it I've got some knitwear for it Um, obviously I make my greetings cards and I've just been kind of getting enough stuff together um, to hopefully you know successfully um, enter and sell uh, a craft fair um, I just thought, you know, as a filler, like, wax melts, like, yeah, that seemed like a really good idea, um, <laughs> at the time, uh, no, I'm joking, um, just unbeknownst to me how popular <laughs> they were going to be, and how in demand something like that is, um, way more than anything else I've ever made before, to be frank, I don't think I ever really sell any of my... <laughs> Uh, concoctions very much um but yeah my the wax melts have uh kind of rather taken off to be honest and they haven't even hit uh you know now i need to keep making more wax melts for my market which is why i did them in the first place um so i can't complain very happy about it um i'm kind of still you know practicing and working uh, i'm gonna see how i go with it um if if you know i'm just kind of dabbling with different things at the moment and uh trying to work it out to see whether it's something that i can actually produce enough and often enough for it to actually be worth you know uh, me kind of 
putting them up and making them a bit more widely available than to just kind of people local to me, friends, family, people I know, people in the area, sort of, you know, maybe uh, a bit more of a wider scope with it because obviously I have to be willing to make the millions of things. Um, and I'm already getting quite a decent demand just as it is, to be honest. So I will, of course, as always, keep you guys all... Um, what's the word, apprised, up to date of everything as I do, as I always do. <laughs> you guys always know every zany little project I'm working on, whether it be cards or jewellery or diamond painting or colouring. Um, I keep you up to date with what's going on and because I'm always kind of dabbling at something random, you also know how little colouring I actually get done. Um, but uh, for opinions, guys, um, if that was something I was going to do a little bit, you know, more serious, a bit bigger, it, what do you think? Is that something that, you know, if I promoted that, that you guys would click buy? Hmm, you know, obviously UK, I'm not going to ship internationally. I'm not a factory people. Um, but yeah, so just to kind of um, show you what I've been making so far. Um, this is my first actual kind of properly created for sale batch. Um, in the UK, we have very different rules um, to other places. We have to put um, kind of allergen, uh, it's called a CLP sticker and all the info about what's in it. It's not, you know, deadly or anything because my wax melts are all 100% soy. Um, so they're cruelty free, organic, vegan, blah, 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 you know, um, friends for all. Um, I also use biodegradable glitter, so there's no spark um, issues. You know, I, I've been, I've researched a lot, guys. Um, you, you know me, I've, I'm, you know, I'm still learning, working, researching waxes. And um, my biodegradable glitter, so it's also plant based, so we're not harming, um, you know, the wildlife everything like that um by you know trying to keep them as friendly as possible um i am working on maybe you know a bit less plastic in my packaging but i have gone with um you know the toxic free um more um i can't remember what it's called now but um it's more kind of it's not <laughs> It's plastic, so it's not like completely recycled as such, but it's the um, friendlier version of plastic. I've done my best, guys. Um, and so far, my first little batch, I'm just trying to pull out the ones that I have made. So you can see, we've got, and I know, I really wanted to make kind of fun names, so they're a bit silly, especially because they're kind of Halloween themed. So this is maple walnut. Not gonna lie, that is a required. <laughs> that's a required scent. That one, that one is. It's unique. It's different. Uh, and I called it "You May Pull Me Crazy." I've got black pomegranate, black ugh, black pomegranate, which is my walk on the dark side, and uh, scary spice, which is pumpkin spice. Um, and just to make them fun, I've got little bag versions, and of course, I have ghosts, and I have pumpkins for halloween and then obviously my black pomegranate i've got stars because i don't know it didn't feel like a halloween kind of thing to scent and of course um you know like any good <laughs> little entrepreneur i've got my little samples going on so i have little samples of each um I've not, it's not a massive first batch and uh, a few of them are reserved already, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, so obviously I've got, uh, I've got four bars of the maple, six of the black pomegranate, three of the scary spice, three bags of the maple walnut, three bags of the pumpkin spice and three bags of the um black pomegranate at the moment so i didn't do too bad for my first proper sale batch obviously i'd been playing with um scents and scent throw and wax temperatures and um these have been cured for the full two weeks 
um, because everything I kind of read and then when I have tested them I've really found that the two weeks it does make a difference um, I get that by the time you know they got to people and they're actually going to use them they'd probably be a couple of weeks old anyway but I just really found that they were much stronger after they'd been cured so I would prefer to kind of keep hold of them until um, you know I know a batch is ready and I've tested the batch and I'm happy with it um, so yeah but we will see we will see we'll see how we go um maybe what i will do at first if i have um you know a few left over i'll pop them on my instagram so kind of watch this space if you're a big wax melt fan um i've tried to keep them reasonably priced for um obviously a, a small a hobbyist because obviously i, I don't want to create a business um from it <laughs> i work enough already um so my bars which give five pieces each um and uh, you know hopefully the idea is you'd get two uses out of each burn um are two pounds fifty and my bags i'm selling for three pound mainly because obviously there is more wax to these and they're an absolute pain in the bum to make the little shapes to be honest um i have bought some little um scoop boxes and i am i think i am going to uh have a dabble at making the scoopies that are ever popular because uh quite a few people have requested those and apart from that we're just we're gonna we're gonna play it by ear um if you're super super <laughs> you know want something like that if you want if um you know you want so I'm sending to you and you want to just, um, you know, pay and I'll post some, that's fine. Let, let me know. Um, but at the moment, I'm, I'm just, I'm not as yet going to create anything specifically serious, like a shop or anything. Um, I really am in too early stages for kind of... Um, what is even the word? Practicing, marketing, you know, learning the scents that I like, that others will like, sample and batch testing and uh, kind of perfecting, uh, well, everything really. My labels, my packaging, my ideas. Um, but yeah, uh, that is also where I've been. So it was a terrible time. The timing on smashing my phone was, of course absolutely perfect made that really hard work um so yeah i'm currently stuck waiting on wax coming because obviously i didn't time or sort that out <laughs> in the right manner um and i think it will be very batch dependent like you know maybe every couple of weeks i'll do a big batch and then put them up for sale sort of thing um because it's it's all kind of very difficult to time you know purchasing making selling um in between everything else going on so we'll see do you guys reckon would you buy a wax milk from me hmm. i don't know it may be worthwhile um, I have had a few people requesting a craft room updated tour and I will get on that um, and you will see it in all its gory detail because it is a mess in here obviously I'm going to tidy it up a little bit I'm not a complete monster but you know just the way that my life is at the moment and everything it's just this is how it is currently operating <laughs> this is how it is and this is how it will well no it won't look quite like this it's an absolute pigsty in here right now um this this is the clean bit <laughs> this is generally the clean bit everything else looks like just disorganized chaos because obviously you know i'm trying to work on projects uh work on stuff for um hopefully like 
like I say, we will see. It will depend if I can get enough product together, enough items together, enough stuff to actually make a craft fair viable. <sighs> and then, of course, there's not a lot in my area, so it's also finding a suitable craft fair that, um, you know, has decent traffic for the kind of items that I just, I don't know. Uh, plus, I do kind of make stuff at about the speed that I colour. So I've made all of about, you know, um, I don't know, four scarves and hats so far. Um, I will show you guys though, because I, I know how you are here for the knitting. Um, I don't know, guys. You, you know what I'm like. Um, this beautiful um, look at this stuff. Uh, I'm currently uh, making a scarf out of this. And I'm thinking some um, arm warmers that go over your gloves. Because I'm not good enough to make gloves yet. And maybe, if I have enough, because I don't have a whole ton of these, just a few. Um, it would be nice to be able to add... A hat to this collection this stuff is so soft so soft and it wasn't particularly cheap but I just think it will make you know such a beautiful set of items that um, it, it, you know probably might even keep it for myself I try not to do that <laughs> I try to actually not keep everything that I make constantly one does one's best um, to not just hoard everything created in the world just because obviously we like it uh, i do that enough with my craft stuff without the things that i actually produce with my craft stuff also staying here but yeah as you can tell guys it has been cra crazy times crazy times a lot going on <laughs> um so yeah i can only apologize for being mia um at this point my um colouring hashtags video this month is super late but I still do want to try and get it up for you guys um if nothing else if nothing nothing else um I will kind of at least do like a small video um with them in the description I'll find somewhere somewhere they're just um I need to get it finished off it obviously is rather a time sink of a project that I then you know, usually work on at the beginning of the month and unfortunately just been ill a couple of times. Um, yeah, honestly, do you guys feel like this? I feel like this year I've just been ill like all the time. Like if it's not one thing, it's something else. Um, and I feel like I'm just constantly making excuses to you guys and, you know, I, I can only apologise for that. I'm... You know, sorry that I feel like every few weeks I'm on here saying, yeah, so I'm behind on this, behind on that. Sorry about that. Didn't do this. Didn't do that. Um, thought I'd cracked it when, um, you know, I changed my second channel to something a bit simpler and a bit easier to film. And indeed, the saddest part of this entire thing is I have content on there waiting to go up for you all uh plenty of content and then i just was doing well to edit and saw and and upload it and obviously with my phone playing about it was it's taken me forever to get any of my content off this thing um i'm gonna try not to say mean things about it because i do need to try and get this video off it as well so i don't want it to hear me and fall out with me again um I am going to try and also do, if you, if any of you are interested in diamond painting at all or you just like to listen to me chat and waffle on about whatever uh, while you colour and therefore it doesn't matter which of my two channels you watch for that if you're just listening to chatting then I will try and start doing some whip and chaps on my diamond painting channel as well because it can be a bit easier to chat while you diamond paint than it is while you colour um, and because obviously I've been trying to get my chats up on this channel I haven't done any whipping chats over there it probably makes me look like I'm not even a diamond painter at all um, 
so yeah <laughs> gotta do some whip and chat so don't think i've abandoned you at all i just i need to be able to um do a little bit of this sort of video on both channels so like i said if you only come here to kind of listen to the waffle then please do subscribe to my other channel it's in the description box below so that you will be able to listen to me waffle on anywhere but yeah it's uh whew, honestly <laughs> um i actually feel so much better for having just got the video done uh, i always feel like that i sit there i think oh need to get that done I need to get a move on I need to get stuff uploaded I need to edit I need to just do stuff and then as soon as I sit in front of the camera and I start colouring and doing whatever and chatting I always just relax to be honest I don't know why I just uh it is kind of my little happy spot is he looking anything like a dinosaur I feel like I've made him look like an ironing board hmm. we'll uh we'll fix that in the top of the head make things look a bit more rounded eh? do i have yes i do my tea girl um obsession is real i have these pencil sharpeners all over the place i even have one in my work handbag because i kept forgetting to take pencil sharpeners to work for when I colored in time and not being able to sharpen my pencils meant I couldn't do anything so I will not just use a random work pencil sharpener because they break my stuff um I know a bit of a pencil snob there but the reality is the truth <laughs> not everybody was built like a tickle Although it makes using my boot furnace squares at work quite difficult because my only pencil sharpener for them uh, is an electric one. Because I always forgot. I've got one of those M&Rs and they're beautiful. They're perfect. But I always forget to take it with me. Hence why I've started dropping a pencil sharpener in my bag. But I feel like if I put my M&R sharpener in my bag, I'll forget to take it out. Really should just buy a second one. They're not even that expensive. Um, I'm using the Artex pencils here, by the way. On the, uh, I know, I know he hasn't been out forever. I got my reptiloids out. It was what I fancied having a play with. Uh, haven't been back to this book for some time. I'll be honest, I haven't been back to any of my books at the minute very much. I've been working quite a bit in the Joshua Dunbar done a few pages in there the last few weeks sat in doctor's surgeries and such um so yeah but yeah i've just um like i say nothing nothing awful just had lots of tests lots of stuff going on just um as i told you guys in an earlier coloring chat i had some weird numbness ages ago and they weren't sure what it was um and you know that uh, a billion tests later and they still don't know what it is um and then i've had like uh, a, a cough for quite some time so they just wanted to obviously rule out anything you know anything awful but um i'm pretty sure i would have heard by now if it was so my numbness has gone and i'm actually wondering whether it was just kind of maybe either migraine related or a viral issue because obviously i do work with the general public uh, and i work in their mouths so i get sick quite a bit just from them um but probably never though to be honest like i said i've had a billion and one tests and they know nothing more than they did when they started them all and um on the plus side i haven't had any you know further more debilitating symptoms so you know that's always good um it's unfortunately just kind of a wait and see situation um but yeah they've kind of said you know if it 
doesn't come back again and nothing else kind of happens that hopefully it was just you know one of those random things that they have no idea about and hopefully it is just gone Sorry, I'm trying not to end up like ironing board guy and actually get a proper face shape here. Um, they work really nicely over alcohol marker in the Amazon paper to the Ortex. They are. Blend in and smooth out really well. Well, I've done it again. I've like left the top of his head. Panic mode setting, obviously. Right, let's do a bit of brown and then that's probably it for today. Wouldn't want to share everything I could think of and then not have anything left for any other videos, I guess. I'm joking. Um, maybe, I don't know, probably not. Uh, let's see, do I kind of need to leave? We're going to make that, hmm, you need to stop muttering to yourself Emma when you're literally on camera and people are listening. I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to make those, what colour that word's going to be, whether it's going to be noticeable, dark, light, should I go back over it in a white gel pen maybe, hmm. No idea. I end up in the zone and then forget where I am and everything goes quiet. It's all very uncomfortable, isn't it? Um, but yeah, apart from that, I've been, you know, trying to just chill out. Um, <laughs> we're busy at work as always, so um, I'm rather enjoying Splatoon 3 at the moment, not going to lie. I'm such a child when it comes to computer games. I'm terrible at shooters, but I do do all right on Splatoon. It's uh, a bit more forgiving, I think, than your usual shooter. So I have to... I'm sat on my leg. I do it every time. I need to sit like an adult. My foot's gone numb. Um... Listened to a couple of audiobooks because obviously I was. Uh, I, I can't really do anything else when my migraines are bad. Uh, they just don't allow for. Oh, I don't like how green that brown is. Hang on. I'm feeling I'm regretting that life choice. This is why you should. This is why you should swatch your pencils, people. What a fail! Can we? Can we fix that? Oh. Right, well, there's a little bit of moss there. reproduce the nope must have been this one so essentially it actually was just a green that I had in my hand it wasn't even a brown what a fail but I feel like we need to reproduce that same <laughs> our three blenders became a four blend basically We'll go with moss. Why not?
there's just not enough hours in any given day. <laughs> um, so why I thought it was a good idea um, to have a go at wax melts again, I will never know. I just, I just don't think I realised how popular the demand. <laughs> I didn't realise how many people were going to want me to make them. Uh, is what happened. I was just going to do a little batch for like you know a couple of friends and family and um, my husband because he just loves them. He adores them. They make lovely presents for him. Um, which is why I generally make them and obviously I was just chatting to people and I mentioned it because well, you mentioned what you're doing at the time don't you because you're enjoying it and it has kind of gone a little bit wild from there so yeah we'll see maybe yeah uh, I definitely won't be retiring <laughs> Um, into the wax melt business but you know I quite I do enjoy making them so um, I think I'll be able to make enough to uh, at least provide for the people that want them from me anyway I thought Um, yep, I am. And apart from that, I hope you're all keeping super well and super busy and uh, enjoying your crafts or whatever it is that you're doing presently. What are you doing right now? Do you do you colour while I chat? Do you are you doing the dishes? Are you um, just sat with your feet up doing nothing or you diamond painting what craft do you do what are you enjoying right this very moment um, actually super interested <laughs> to know what people get up to while having me on in the background chatting away I bet it's a mix I bet lots of people are like scrubbing their bathroom right now <laughs> I do that. I pop my iPad on in the corner and put my YouTube on and uh, do random things. Hmm. I don't. Probably just brown. Probably seems like the obvious answer to that. there with you guys because i know it's quite a dark gray scale and people do panic um but it's just going to create the most wondrous images it most certainly is so um i think we'll definitely work on a project in there together and uh try and get cleaned up in between time and film this crazy room it has filled in rather somewhat since the last time you guys saw it that's for sure um, it now has like two more bookcases in it i think since my last craft room tour um yeah it's it's uh it's got a lot going on there's, uh, there's quite a couple new big hobbies that I've got very, very much into and they've also kind of taken a bit more prominent precedence in the room as well. Um, that's for sure. So I hope this was a little bit interesting, guys. I hope it kind of explains a little bit about where I've been and why I've been busy and disappearing. As always, I mean, it's not going to change, is it? I film as much as I can for you all. I love you all, um, but you know, <laughs> you're never going to get a million videos uh, and a million pictures from this channel. That's for sure. Happy colouring, guys. Happy crafting. Happy weekend. Happy week. Have an amazing time and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.